G'day mate, Dave from Down Under here. Now I'm from BM Pro and this is the start of a series that we're going to put together all the tech tips and everything you're going to need to know for looking after your Jayco RV. Let's get into the RV Genius and have a look at what it can do for us. So walking through our screen here first, this is our first dashboard that we've got. Now not all of the features are on this first dashboard, but what we can see here, we've got climate, We've got our lights, motors, tanks, and energy. And they're on your main dashboard. Down the left-hand side of the screen here, you've also got a bit of a menu system whereby we can go into a few other features. We'll go into those features shortly, but you can go into these either way. For example, we can press on climate, back to the home button, or we can press on climate here and go in this way. Pretty simple. Now this tablet is just based on a simple Android 7 inch tablet. So it's got a lot of the features and functions that you'd normally expect with Google Android. Here's a couple I'll just show you through. So the center button, three, three buttons down the bottom here. Actually not little buttons, the little icons on the bottom of the screen. The center one, that'll just take you back to the main menu. Not sure what happens in the world of Apple, but this is how we do it in Google world. There's our RV master icon. We'll just click back into that one there load it back up again. We can use the back button. So here, the last screen we were just on, that was the main screen for um, Android. So we can just go back into it from there. And here, this is where we can see multiple windows which are open at one time. If we had various different windows open, which we can do, we'll open a media player. Nothing signed in. Now we can see we've got two. Side swipe, get rid of one, tap, and go into the other one there. Now we'll go through these features down the bottom here very shortly on the RV Genius. We've got a range of settings up here, Bluetooth symbols, pretty simple to work our way through. All right, so that's a bit of a basic introduction. Now we're going to jump into the next one and I'm going to walk you through some of the features. See you shortly.